What a beautiful day it really is to go and have a fly about in your micro light. Welcome back guys, but it's not a random fly about. It's going to be another landing at video. This is one of my latest purchases. Couldn't resist it, so let's have a quick look at exactly where we're going. There you go. Don't be confused, it isn't a motorbike, but it might as well be. <laughs> I love this little thing. Um, yeah, extreme complexity from Concorde to extreme simplicity. That's the way we go. So today, on this beautiful day, we're in the uh, south of England, the Isle of Wight. We're going to go from the Isle of Wight and we're not going to go too far. We're just going to hop over the Solent, which is there, that stretch of water that technically makes that an island. And we're going to land here. Solent Airport, I believe. That's what we're going to call it. We're going to call it Solent Airport. Uh, never been here, don't, but I've never been to the Isle of Wight, for sure, don't believe I have. So as you can see, it's a gorgeous day, it's a gorgeous game, apologies if the Microsoft Flight Sim videos are kind of taking over my channel, I've always said I don't owe anyone anything on the channel, I just appreciate anybody that watches, but Wherever the mood takes me, that's going to be the kind of vibe, the vibe that the videos take. This is even beginning to take over our consumption uh, train simulator. Yeah, can you believe it? So you've got to get used to this kind of this bar in the middle, but you can just pop your head around sideways like that and have a look around. So it looks kind of steady at the moment. We don't, don't have an incredible amount of altitude not really worth it it's only a short hop over over the Solent and yeah it's um, tricky a tricky little thing to master this apart from its simplicity I don't know the manufacturer's name of this uh, kind of I'm not that involved to be honest with you at the moment I don't, I don't retain that kind of information but as soon as you start to try to position this, I mean, I would not want to take this out on a bad day. No way. I think it would be suicidal if the weather was bad. You'd get thrown around everywhere. There are no real controls to this thing. I don't know. There's a couple of dials. I haven't really investigated. I don't think you've got anything like trim or anything else like that. I, I don't know. I honestly don't know. So I need to check on that. And you get kind of weird, what do they call them? Like bookmarks, I can't think of what they're called now. Uh, they're kind of like waypoints, but they differ. Because obviously you don't get like a proper, a proper flight pan. So here we go. Yeah, I mean, you, you, you're so small that you don't appreciate your kind of size in proportion to the world around you. Um, unlike something like a, normal aircraft where you know your your input your responses are incremental and not they don't have major consequences but this thing is pretty hairy so here we go i actually believe i got quite a successful landing so i did land on a tiny airfield the other day but i didn't capture it unfortunately it was like a little grass strip it was literally a piece of mown grass in a field so here we go, guys, kind of committing now. Last few chances to commit to a different angle. Little bit of correction there. Don't want to hit the uh, hit the black stuff like that. Uh, we're going to put it down. 
That'll do. That'll do us. And there you go. There you go. Oh, I was well pleased with that. Well pleased. Well and truly satisfied. Yep. Anywhere I can park my bike. Surely there is. But yeah. I shall leave it there, guys. I'll leave you with these wonderful views. And uh, I, shall, uh, I shall see you soon. Bye-bye.